Well, of course, we have our flu worries. We've been talking about that. We have COVID worries, but a lot of doctors say that this has been the worst year for strep throat that they can remember in their careers. That is a little crazy. CDC reporting ER visits for strep throat reached a five-year high in February and March, but cases have continued in high numbers even throughout yeah. the summer. So let's bring in Dr. Frank McGeorge here with a closer look with this really concerning trend. It is, Karen and Devin. You know, this is a theme that we've heard repeatedly in our weekly reports on what's going around. In fact, I talked to one of my colleagues at Henry Ford Health about the trend that she has seen with strep throat this year and what she's expecting this fall and winter. We have seen so much strep throat in the community here in Wayne County. It's been really pretty amazing. It's actually been the second most common diagnosis we've made at the Fairlane Emergency Department for months. Dr. Jennifer Stevenson, the director of the Henry Ford Health Fairlane Emergency Department said at the start it was so bad they even questioned their tests. For a while we thought that there was you know, even like an error with our swabs because we were seeing so much co-infection with COVID. But indeed, these are patients who are presenting with strep symptoms and testing positive for strep throat. But we've even seen a lot of this in adults, which is somewhat unusual. And even in children less than one, which again, you're not supposed to see strep throat um, in that demographic, though when there's other kids in the home who have strep throat, it's certainly a possibility. I think that I would just like to put out the awareness that strep is very common in the community and that it can have variable um, presentations in kids. So just to have it at the front of people's mind, um, it's one of these infections that we can pretty easily test for and we can pretty effectively treat. But if we don't look for it, we're not going to find it. Now, relative to younger kids in particular, something that we talked about is that they sometimes don't complain of a sore throat. Instead, we've both seen younger children with stomach pain, nausea, and even vomiting, which may seem odd, but if they have a red irritated throat too, it could be strep and testing can easily rule it in or out. Big picture here, strep has seen a resurgence and it is easy to treat with very common antibiotics. But we've reported too about the shortage of the antibiotic amoxicillin, so I assume that's making things worse in terms of fighting this? Yeah, actually that has been a problem and we did talk about that as well. In fact, they are still prescribing amoxicillin, but they're telling patients basically that they need to watch out for whether their pharmacy may have it or whether or not um, they can get a hold of it. And if they can't get a hold of it, they need to contact the ER to either get an alternative antibiotic prescription mm. or they will help them find a pharmacy that does have it in stock. Shaping up to be a really interesting fall in your emergency yeah. room and doctor's offices everywhere. And we expect it's only going to get busier yeah. as yeah. the season moves on. Yeah. All right, Doc.